Jean Chris of Jean Chris Media. Welcome to Travel with Jean. Today I have joining me is Ross Cobb of Cobb Wines. Hello. Hi Ross. Hello. How Thanks are for you? having me. Great. Sure. Um, today what we're going to do is talk about some wines. Um, we're at the Pursuit of Balance here in Tribeca and uh, before we do that and talk about some of um, the family history, I'd like to have a cup of coffee with Ross. So. Oh. Here's one of our cups, and I'm um, having to bring with, uh, with me today two cups that are um, kind of special to me. As you'll see, it has a, a picture of my dad on here. My dad was a, um, uh, a dentist of 63 years, and so he has had a family-owned business for um, two generations, and I know that you've had a wine business for two generations. So before we talk about that, let's have a little cup of java. Sure, well, I have a better idea. Do you want to try a glass of wine? You know, that sounds like a fabulous <laughs> idea. Let's do that. I'll have a sip of this after. Let's try, start with wine. Okay, sounds good. Here we are. Here we are. This is uh, our family winery, Cobb Wines. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. I started the uh, family business uh, 25 years ago growing grapes. So these are from the vineyard, uh, Coastlands Vineyard that we planted in 1989 and uh, we've been growing grapes for a couple wineries, William Selium, ourselves, Cobb, and uh, then we started making wines under the label Cobb in 2001. And so this is uh, the 13th vintage here that we've put into bottle and now my father and I are two generations of grape grower and winemaker working together. That's great. So um, here with the uh, In Pursuit of Balance, the um, festival and the show that's taking place today, um, what is the pursuit? What does the Pursuit of Balance mean? Well, the, the intention of, of most, most winemakers is to make a wine that's balanced, that it's uh, palatable, that it ages well, goes well with food. Um, and so we've formed this group with uh, Raj Parr and Jasmine Hirsch as founders. Um, four years ago in the intention of, of grouping together some wineries that are making wines a little lower alcohol, not necessarily low alcohol, but um, a little lower um, extract, fruit, and, and intensity. Trying to make a wine that's a little more old world, but also California style. We're seeking this balance in the wine um, intentionally. Mm -hmm. I think everyone is, but we're kind of grouping us together in a, in a, for, a, for this group uh, tasting. Okay. Well, I was able to attend one of the sessions this morning, and uh, they were talking about um, different types of aging and acidity, and um, with the different types of wines, and which wines are bigger and, and better. So, can you also talk to us? I know today there's going to be tastings of a lot of Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays, and um, there was mentioned that maybe Chardonnays um, are, are, lack of a better word, dead. <laughs> mm -hmm. So can you talk about that a little bit? Sure. Well, Chardonnay is very alive in Chablis and White Burgundies, as well as all over the world, as we know. Uh, California had a huge um, kind of surge of popularity in the um, uh, you know, 80s and 90s. Um, and I think what's happened is that people are still really excited, and a lot of people are making some really nice Chardonnays in California, but Pinot Noir is mm. kind of become uh, uh, grown more. They're planting more Pinot Noir vineyards than they are Chardonnay vineyards. So actually we have a scarcity of good Chardonnay vineyards in the Sonoma Coast where we are. Mm -hmm. So we're, um, I'm actually planting a seven acre Chardonnay vineyard and so that'll be available in a few years. Uh, I think Chardonnay and Pinot Noir should be equal um, in volume, but there's been a lot more Pinot Noir planted in the, especially in the late 90s. Right. So what is the manifesto of balance? Probably a uh, uh, wine that's not too extracted, not too ripe, um, not too oaky. Mm -hmm. So trying to keep the, um, really what balance is, is if you have peaks of any particular aroma or flavor that's dominating the rest, it's out of balance. So if you want to think of balance is basically trying to get the fruit and the maybe slight oak extraction and, and uh, the spice and the terroir, the sense of place, 
all of those things in balance with each other so one's not overpowering, for example, alcohol or fruit or oak overpowering the other. So the manifesto would be to, to make a wine with, with all kind of uh, aspects and, and uh, variables are in balance with each other. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for coming to uh, cold uh, New York City. <laughs> thank you. It's, it's wonderful. Right. Okay, and how can people learn about your wines? Great. Well, thank you. The Cobb wines are available um, throughout New York in um, a bunch of shops here in New York. Uh, we also are in top restaurants here, and we also uh, have a website, cobbwines.com, and you could buy wine from me online directly, or you can call me up, and uh, phone number's on the back label. <laughs> Great, and, and how many selections do you have? I, I make six different vineyard designates, so this is one of the six vineyard designates I make. And each one has a case quantity of about 200, 220, 225 cases, um, small batch vineyard designates, and that's all I do. They're all about 70 to $80 a bottle. Um, they all age for 7, 10, 20 years, if you have the patience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. Well, well, thanks for joining us. Thank you. For, with, at Java with Jean, and uh, look forward to uh, enjoying the show. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers.